guys. How you doing? Uh, Randy Richard here in the shop. Uh, another new project. Uh, this one's for the Lance Lathe. Uh, it's uh, new uh, buttons for a steady rest and a follow rest. Right here, here's a here's the follow rest. These are really worn, worn out. They uh, get, they knock right out of these. They're pressed in these. Uh, I don't know, these uh, tubes here, these guides, uh, threaded guides. I don't know what else you call them, but that's a follow rest. And here's a steady rest. Right here, they're not real big steady rest, but anyway, I have a, I actually have two of each. Uh, here's a, here's a button. I knocked it out. Uh, I'll turn the camera around. I'll show you, and uh, show you a drawing I got made up, and uh, we'll get going on that. And make up uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the other two, uh, the other steady rest and follow rest are in good shape, uh, not too bad. So I'm just gonna make, I'll make up uh, five. I might make up some more. If I made it set up, I might make make up even a whole set. Uh, so we'll see how much stock I have. Uh, but but uh, yeah, we'll uh, get going on this nice little project. Uh, so. All right, you guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, let's uh, turn the camera around. You can see that follow rest right there, and uh, these are actually, they're, they're pretty nice. Eh? These are, I'm going to probably take, I'll take all these off, of course, these out. I'm going to show you, I'll take one out on that uh, steady rest. They're a little, little dinged up and a little loose there. Yeah, they have the locking set, uh, locking screws, and a little uh, screw here, set screw that locks on that collar. I'll show you that. This one's obviously out of the uh, keyway there to stop it from turning. But yeah, these are actually work pretty good. They need to be a little cleaned up, and uh, we'll uh, get them working nice. Here's the uh, this one. This one here, I already made a lock knob for. The other one just has a nut. I should have just made two of these. Uh, these are just to hand tighten it down. But show you how uh, show you how this comes apart. Loosen that up. This is a, this goes in that follows in the keyway there. Comes right out. So these are just threaded on there. I already cleaned this one up a little bit uh, and lubed it. I use that Molly paste on the threads there. That way I won't have to lube that for ever, probably. <laughs> but anyway, these are just pressed in there and uh, take it, took it off, took a drift pin down the down the down the center and just tapped it right on out. So that will. Uh, Work out pretty good, I think. Uh, let's see here. I'm keeping the picture. So, pretty simple. So, I'm kind of thinking, uh, we'll see how I get that set up on there to do a bunch of them pretty fast. We'll see how that goes. But, uh, pretty simple turning job. Pretty simple. So, Quick project. All right, off the lathe. Okay, you guys, we're over here at the Lance lathe, and uh, we're going to uh, make these buttons for the uh, the follow rest and the steady rest. And here's a here's a drawing. Let me see if I can get that close enough. Uh, there you go. Little drawing. So we could try to do this all in one operation. We'll do the the nose and the taper, and then we'll do the the base. Now that's going to have a a little press fit to it, um, like a half a thousandths. It it doesn't have to be uh, is real hard. Uh, you know. Maybe a thousandths at the very most. That that'll be pretty tight in there. Um, so and that's about it. Uh, this is a one-inch bar stock, 
what al what alloy brass i don't know this is a some leftover stuff i have and i'm just going to use it up for this and uh we'll get the cameras going here and i'm using the uh remote mic so i hope uh this works out pretty good and we'll see how it goes I think we're going to give this a quick measure. This part's 9999. So it's already got this little practice of neural on there. See if we'll, we'll uh, we got to be take it down to 0 0.944. Uh, that's what we're going to shoot for. So if we went to 40, big deal. Um, 940, uh, take off 60,000. So we'll. Make sure uh, feet here, okay. Got a little run out in this piece, it looks like. So, try to do a cleanup cut, then we'll just uh, measure it. a pretty nice finish pretty good it's it could be better uh, I I really rather I probably should cut this with high-speed steel it usually cuts better oh boy it's a little, a little bit on the smaller side but it's 934 shooting for 944 I just just try trying to clean it up yeah 934 It's at uh, 10, 10 under. Uh, that's that'll be fine. That'll still work. Uh, I think we'll change out. Take the stone here to this a little bit. Just make sure it's good and clean, good and sharp. I like keeping, uh, this is a square stone, a uh, carborundum one. Uh, you just keep it here on the lathe just for this sort of quickie cleanup. Make sure there's nothing on there. With a chip breaker. So a tiny radius maybe on this one. We'll see how that goes here. There. 
Yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the kind of finish we'll look for. Uh, nine, nine, uh, 969 so we could even take a little more uh, we'll call that really 970 take about 30 more That's a, that's a beautiful finish there. So we are looking for 944. How's that? 944. Zero. So we'll just uh, we'll leave it there. We'll cut it down a bit. Turn about uh, six, 670 on the RPM. The feed rate is 2.9 to thousandths uh, per inch, I mean per revolution. That's not too bad. Nice little curly chips. That's, uh, that's nice. That'll be good. That reduced diameter we got done that's a little smaller around right here will come off when we uh, taper it anyway. We're going to put that uh, large chamfer on there. Try to get enough here, we can get at least a couple of them out of this. Yeah, that cut nice, uh, nice little round chip. Uh, very, very nice. So, uh, yeah, so we were uh, 944. Yep, yeah, and uh, probably thousandths taper, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah, thousandths and a half. Yep. Yeah. Not too bad. Okay, so uh, we'll uh, set up to do a, a chamfer on there. I think I figured the angle. The angle's kind of weird. To, because I want I only want it so long, so the angle is, uh, I adjusted the angle because I want this to be as short as I need it. I don't want it longer as I need it. Uh, because these are kind of small center and follow arrest. They're, they're kind of small, really, for this size lady. I wish they had a bigger hole, you know, get a bigger piece of stock in there. So I'm trying to make this not, not too big. So we're looking at uh, 40, 47 degrees on there. I need to make new little studs for this as they they grab a little bit they're kind of screwed up uh, a little bit I always keep my rest uh, I always keep my compound at 29 and a half uh, in case I want to do a thread or something it's just one thing I don't have to do all the time to change it uh, so I always keep it there 
Forty forty seven point two degrees. Well, we're not going to do that two thing here. Well, it might be forty two. It might be point two there. Forty seven point two. I just tapped it a little over. Yeah. This is not a critical dimension. <laughs> And since I need to swing it the other way, yeah, see how they grab? If I don't loosen them up a lot, they catch a little bit. There's 30, 40, 5, 7. problems with that. Yeah, we'll get in there with a safety spin. And I'm just going to eyeball the uh, dimensions. Um, we'll measure the length. And that length is about um, it's actually three the cone the cone part of it is a uh, three-eighths of an inch long And we're going to shoot for about, about a quarter of an inch in the middle there These aren't this is not that critical of a piece oops so Five sixteenths right there. Yeah. Actually, that looks that looks a little better. I like that. Yeah, it's right there at five sixteenths. I think we'll leave it there. I, I like that look better. I'm just gauging it on. I'm saying I like that look. I'm just gauging on the size of this uh, contact area right here on the end. And I was going to shoot for a quarter, but I kind of like the size, whatever this is. Um, it's about... Actually, it's 5 sixteenths also. So I like that look better. But we'll keep the length um, the same here. Uh, so the whole the whole length of this top part's only half an inch. So we'll we're gonna keep that though. Let's see here. So this is a 
I bought this uh, tool off the internet. This is a large grooving tool. It's actually a one inch shank. I milled it down. And uh, this is a, oh boy, this is a, what, a five size, you know, insert uh, IC on it is huge. But uh, I wanted it because it's a nice wide grooving tool. Uh, shoot, these things will probably last me forever. I, I came with a bunch of inserts also. Uh, so that's like, well, no, that's a more of a, let's see, it's about three-eighths of an inch, halfway, so three-quarters of an inch is the IC on it. What's that? I got eight then, right? Uh, so two, four, six. That's a six uh, size insert, right? So. So I'm going to go down here. A half an inch. Oh, I'm just going to eyeball these things. I'm not... This, this insert, uh, I should say, this insert geometry, it allows me to go uh, in, and then it will allow me to go sideways, too. Uh, it's designed to cut also sideways. Uh, so that's uh, kind of a nice feature of, of this insert. And I'm not quite, it looks like square. See how it cut? See, no, it's not quite square because it cut here first. So we need to just... Uh, Not much. There we go. So I'm gonna go in a little bit, gauge it, uh, so I know what size it is. The length of it is, I want this base part to be 3 eighths of an inch long. So we'll go, we'll be 3 eighths of an inch here. Uh, this this insert is uh, three sixteenths of an inch wide. So so two widths of that is three eighths. So I'll just go over here, line it up. And that's pretty pretty flat still. And that should be thereabouts three eighths. That's right on the money, three eighths. I'm just gonna go sideways now. Then I'm gonna measure it so I know where I'm at. Uh, I'm gonna go in a touch more. Over. Let me back that off. I'm a nine twenty four.
this in there. I think I left a little ridge in the middle, but that's all right. We're at 606, roughly, so. Yep. Five ninety three. Okay, I'm gonna uh, get the part from the uh, um, rest, and we'll double check our measurements and make sure we're on the right track. Okay, so I got the here's the piece that this will go on to. So I took this out and I inspected the bore, and it as a it looks good now. See. Looks great, huh? So, I, uh, you can see there, uh, hopefully right there you can see that. Looks great now. That's because I bored it. It was so bad, oh, I could barely get a measurement. So I'm gonna have to pull all of them apart probably and check them all. So we're right at one thousandth over right now. So we're, I don't have to take any more off of this. And uh, we're just gonna part that off. And we're we're done with the part, and we'll, then we'll uh, press it in there. Now, for materials' sake, I'm going to go with a little there with a thinner parting blade, and we'll uh, part that off. I'll double check my measurement. So it should be uh, three eighths of an inch. I think that was. Yep. So three eighths of an inch. Yep. Good enough. Um, I think I'll hit that back edge. Let's do a quick little file. There we go. Hey Tom, I. This is for uh, Tom Lipton. I just bought some uh, new Nicholson files also, and uh, they're all made in Mexico. Yeah, all made in Mexico. Anyway. Let's see if I can reach in there and uh, put a little, just a little chamfer edged on that. I don't know if I've got anything set up right now that can, I can reach in there and chamfer that a little bit. That will just make it so it goes in easier. That won't work. I just want a little tiny, just so it, it slips in. Uh, that won't work either. That won't work. There we go. That, that's got enough angle on. All I'm looking for is a little little angle to help it start. 
uh, when I go to push it in there. Yeah, that worked good. Just kind of wiping it off here. I have a little nub to get rid of, but see that little chamfer on there? Just a nice little chamfer. That will help uh, go in there. And uh, so I'm getting these bored. I'm boring them all the same to 0 0.599, 0 0.5995 within a half a thousandth or so. They're all, uh, they all need this. go okay we're got to kind of set up here on the press and uh, got that just set in there that little chamfer helps get it lined we only got a thousand so it's gonna go pretty easy There we go. Came out, uh, I think, pretty nice. It's gonna gonna work. I uh, will uh, go over and slip it in the. Uh, that's it. That came out of steady rest, so we'll take put slip it in there. So I took that feet that uh, piece there. The I don't know what you call it. The slider there. I took it over to the other lathe and put it in and and. Uh, the bore of these things is not concentric with the outside very well, so um, there we go. Now it goes down, and that's just, that's all as far as it will go, just barely down in there, and uh, that's just right. I just kind of took about um, 10, 15 thousandths off of that outside, and so it, it's concentric. There you go. Okay, now we'll do the rest. Oh, there you go, guys. Um, these are all done. Two for this one. Get that up close. And uh, three. Three on this one. Come out nice. Very happy. I do some cleanup, of course, of the bores and stuff just to get the old grease lubricant that was in there out and I had to clean up the threads of one uh, uh, run a tap in there metric and, and uh, that was about it just to clean it up there's uh, the old ones you can see how bad how bad those were pretty bad I don't know if you can tell but pretty bad anyway that's a easy project uh, all pressed in there so be pretty pretty happy with that uh, now I got a full set uh, two I have two, two, two of each I have two followers and two steadies which is pretty nice came with a lathe uh, I just wish they were bigger it's just this here bore was bigger but you know we'll see if I ever need a bigger one then we'll end up having to make one probably but pretty happy though so uh, thanks a lot for uh, watching, 
and uh, we'll uh, see you on the next project, next go around. Thanks. So you guys, I just want to give a shout out for uh, Ben Zittner and James Green. They're the administrators of a Facebook page, or I guess they're called pages in Facebook. I'm kind of new to the page, the Facebook thing. Um, but Machining YouTube, uh, check them out. Uh, Machining YouTube on Facebook, and uh, it's a nice little forum there to show pictures and talk about things and what you built and um, got any problems you can post up some problems and uh, you'll uh, hopefully get an answer that will work for you but there's some uh, pretty talented guys that are uh, posting stuff there and, and uh, answering questions and things like that um, I've posted a couple things up there uh, things like that so uh, it's kind of a fun thing uh, if you're trying to find out something more about machine work or like I said, if you have a question of somebody, and if you're willing to make it a little public, it's okay, and um, you're going to maybe get an answer for what you're doing. So uh, there's a lot of good people on there that, you know, don't do YouTube videos, so, uh, or actually most uh, on there don't do YouTube videos on their stuff, so. Uh, uh, so uh, visit Machining YouTube, uh, Ben Zittner and uh, James Green. Uh, you have to go on there and uh, there's just something to click on and you can and then they'll approve you and things like that so uh, check them out all right thanks you guys